Now here is a very interesting question that can actually teach us more than you may initially think. Suppose you have two identical cups and these cups are filled with two different liquids A and B to the exact same level. Now you take a spoonful from the first cup of liquid A and you put it in the second cup. You mix it up real good and then you take a spoonful of the mixture and you put it back in the first cup. And the question is, is there more of liquid A in the second cup or more of liquid B in the first cup? Now what makes this question particularly fascinating is that even when you discover the right answer, which I'm sure all of you will, you may still be missing the ultimate truth. You'll see what I'm talking about. Now here's how I would recommend going about solving this problem. I think you should first try to solve it in your head with some specific numbers. Just assume that the spoon is one-tenth the size of the cup and actually use fractions to calculate exactly how much of liquid A there is in the second cup and how much of liquid B there is in the first cup. And doing it in your head will be very good because it will help you expand your mental RAM and it will help you extend your concentration span and it can also help you fall asleep or sit through a very boring meeting. But then when you find your answer for that particular situation, you will want to make sure that your answer doesn't actually depend on the size of the spoon. So for that you will need some paper and you will work with letters instead of specific numbers and use some algebra to come up with the general answer. Now when you do have the general answer, regardless of how you got it, Follow the link that we provided and enter your answer and also if you'd like your explanation because we would very much like to hear if you have an original way of thinking about this problem. And there you will also find another video where we discuss the various approaches to this problem and also discover the ultimate truth.